Hi Stampers, I'm Nancy Novak from StampAndShout.com. Welcome back. This week is my Mix and Match Valentine's series. Um, I'm featuring a few different uh, stamp sets, Country Bouquet and Petal Park and Be My Valentine and Hooray, Hooray for Surprises. And I pulled out different papers, Be Mine and uh, Delightfully Eclectic. And today we're going to use a little piece of the Subtle Designer Series paper. So we're covering all our bases for Valentine's, but remember all of these cards that you see this week, all you got to do is change the sentiment and they'd be perfect birthday cards or thinking of you. Um, it's just that it's so close to Valentine's Day. I wanted to get these out so you guys had time to gather your supplies and make them or if you need to purchase them. Um, I will have uh, project sheets on my blog with all the sizes, dimensions, and shopping links. And don't forget it is celebration time. So now is a great time to buy because every $50 purchase, you get to pick something free out of the celebration catalog. So also I have host code gifts. So um, let's make today's card. Let's get started. After yesterday's classic card, it's time to give fair time to those who lean towards the non-traditional side for Valentine's Day. So still using the Country Bouquet stamp set and punch, but this time we're going to go a little bit non-traditional in our colors. We're going to use Lost Lagoon, and we're going to use Fresh Freesia, and we're going to use Bubble Bath. And of course, we're going to have a little bit of white in there. And again, we have that pretty designer series paper. Um, that's the six by six size, um, and this is the Subtles. And then here is some of the... Um, delightfully eclectic designer series paper. So we got a little bit of an array of um, cards and colors going on here, but I think you'll like the, the final outcome. And we have a piece inside for stamping. And let's get started. Let's do some stamping. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the heart stamp from Country Bouquet. So let me show that to you. So we're going to use this one right here. It's going to stamp a big heart and a little heart, and we're going to punch it out. And we're going to do it twice. We're going to stamp it once in bubble bath and then once in fresh freesia. Now I'm going to bring the leaf stamp in, and I'm going to stamp that in Lost Lagoon. So if you'll notice, I stamped on a strip because I'm going to put the strip right here in my um, in my punch and punch it out. I stamped it twice, but you can just ignore that. We only need two. So uh, one stamp equals two leaves. And then we'll punch out our hearts. I'm going to bring in this piece of white. This is um, going to go on the bubble bath layer eventually, but we're going to do a little bit of stamping first. So the stamp set comes with these little sprigs, and we're just going to stamp some on here in Lost Lagoon. Okay, so we're going to take our, our stamped images, and we're going to create a little bouquet here. So let me bring in my glue and my dimensionals. I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to add some leaves down here and some stems. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all these down. I'm going to bring in my Lost Lagoon marker. And I'm going to take the fine end. And I'm just going to draw a couple of stems down here. I wasn't fancy. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and put our leaves on and glue those down. Okay, I'm going to glue this piece to the bubble bath piece. And I'm going to bring these two pieces in. I'm going to glue these together and glue these to the front of the card. Okay, I'm going to bring in this piece right here, and I'm going to banner this. Just give it a little cut on each end and create a little banner. Just 
just like that. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this piece. And then this piece is going to go right in the center like that. So I'm just kind of fitting it all together before I glue it down. I'm going to glue this strip on. That'll help me decide where I want to lay it on the front of my card. Okay, I'm going to kind of do it like that. So it's a little bit lower than halfway down. So I'm going to glue the um, DSP down. That piece is going to go there. And I want to stamp a sentiment for the front. So in the country bouquet, there's a sentiment that says, For you. And I'm going to stamp that in memento black and I'm going to make that a little bit thinner and then I'm going to banner the edges of this too, the ends okay so I'm going to st stick the focal point down by removing the backing off those dimensionals and then I'm going to pop this up. I'm going to make that just a little bit thinner. And I'm going to pop that up. And I'm going to kind of angle it, I think, like that. What do you think so far? I like it. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring in a couple of pearls and put some pearls down here. That's very, very pretty. And then for the inside, I have that piece of designer series paper. So I'm going to glue all that down to the inside of the, of the card. So beyond sharing my creative ideas and my videos with you, I'm also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So if you are looking for quality stamping products, Stampin' Up! products are amazing. And I am here to help you and provide you with excellent customer service. Just give me a call. You can email me and we can chat about um, anything that you have on your mind. I love talking to new stampers. So um, again, my uh, Gmail, Stampin', Up! Stampin Shout at gmail.com. There it is. And there is today's card. So what do you think? Isn't that beautiful? So now I made it as a Valentine's Day card, but of course it fits for many occasions. Don't you love the colors? Kind of unique, right? <laughs> Definitely different from our red card from yesterday, but which one do you like more? Let me get that one out. So there's our classic and there's our non-traditional. I like them both. I don't think it's fair to say which one do you like better. They're both unique and pretty in their own way. So, okay, I will be back again tomorrow at noon. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.